Hi. Okay, so go to your command prompt by typing a CMD in Windows. I will only be covering Windows for this example because I don't have a Mac with me. But I believe the command in Windows is if com in Max is if config instead of id config. So for command prompt, open it up and type in ip config slash all. And we'll get a bunch of information about our network uh, modems and adapters. So what you can see, the interesting thing is, each adapter we have for our computer has a different physical address. This is because all network devices or hardware devices have something that's called a MAC address or physical address. This is basically a unique identifier for your hardware. But something interesting happens when we connect to the internet. Not only will our uh, device have a physical address, it will also be assigned an IP address. But what do we have here? We have IP version 4 and IP version 6. So IP version 6 is a newer version of uh, the IP address. What was happening was that previously the internet grew so rapidly that the IP version 4 uh, format of the address, which used numeric uh, numbers, as is shown uh, where I highlighted, wasn't enough to handle the growth of devices that were connecting to the internet simultaneously. So they were running out of IP addresses. So what they did in order to handle more internet devices connecting to the internet was introduce uh, the version 6 of the IP address format, which uses hexadecimal numbers. This allows more, more computers and uh, devices to connect to the internet simultaneously. So that's a fun fact. So if you ever want to find out your machine address and IP address, all you have to do is go to command prompt and type in IP config space slash all. So this will be a useful tidbit of information as your web development career proceeds. But for now, it's not very important for what we will be doing in a moment. But I thought it was a fun fact. So now let's see what happens whenever we request our website. So I'm opening up Wireshark, which basically looks at our network. And I'm going to um, my wireless device, which is currently connected to the internet. And I'm going to double click on it. And suddenly I'm seeing a lot of um, rows being generated in this first window. Each of these rows are packets. And we have interesting columns here. We have the NO column, which tells us the order in which we've received these packets, the time, how long it took to get them, the source IP, the destination IP, so where the packet originated from and where it's going, and the protocol. If you recall, the protocol is the language in which applications communicate, and the packet is the words in that protocol. So each packet has a unique protocol associated with it. So consequently, each packet will have a different set of information based on the protocol that it's using. But we're only interested in HTTP information, which is the language in which your browser communicates in order to receive websites. So we'll filter around that and see what's happening because we don't care about the other stuff currently. So I'll go to baidu.com and press enter. And if we look in our window, since I put a filter to only view HTTP packets in uh, Wireshark, you'll see we got a bunch of packets. One was for our image. One request was for um, other stuff. But if you look here, we have two interesting packets. Um, one says text slash plain, and the other says text slash HTML. So let's look at text slash HTML. And if we look in the information in the second window, by clicking on a record, we'll get to see the details of what was sent. And looking at the line slash based text data, it says text slash HTML, and HTML is the language of the web. 
that's basically um, what your browser converts into uh, the website that you see. And we actually see the raw information behind the Baidu website. So we see the information that was converted into this. So if you ever want to see what's happening behind the scenes and see the information unmasked, you can use Wireshark in order to uh, view that on your own computer as well as other people's computers. So you can actually observe them without them realizing it if you put your modem in a different mode, which is kind of cool.